by Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has recently detailed some of the system configuration tools that are bundled in both Windows 10 and Windows 11. And if you are a tech savvy person, you must probably would know about most of these. But if you're not, then I thought I'd just actually go through this list. And because these tools can be used to manage Windows, and if you are and have been watching this channel for quite some time, we will know that for myself personally, I like to use the built-in tools that come bundled in Windows 10 and Windows 11 over having to download a third-party tool to configure and manage Windows. So if you would be interested, I'm just going to go through this list Microsoft has provided on system configuration tools in Windows. And I'll actually leave the full support article down below if you'd like um, to get some more in-depth info. And I'm not going to tell you exactly what each little setting in each component is all about. I'm just going to give a brief overview of each uh, configuration tool just for the purpose of this video in case you're unaware. Now the first um, that they do detail is the settings which they say uh, is the main application to customize and manage Windows settings and according to Microsoft it provides a more user-friendly experience than the traditional control panel. And then moving on to the next, which is the task manager. And I actually find the task manager to be quite a useful tool personally uh, in Windows 10 and Windows 11. And the task manager is an application that serves as a system monitor and startup manager for Windows providing insights into your device's performance and resource consumption. It also allows you to view and manage running applications, your processes, and access CPU load, um, your, your memory, your disk usage, act network activity, and so on. So that's just a brief overview of the task manager. Now moving on to the computer management. And for the next couple of tools, we're going to head into the Windows tools, which is found in both Windows 10 and Windows 11. And this kind of just collates a lot of these configuration tools into one package and you can just do a search accordingly if you don't know where to find your Windows tools uh, in both operating systems. Now the next is computer management and this apparently according to Microsoft is a console um, snap-in that provides a centralized location for managing various system components, services and settings on Windows. Uh, it also includes tools for managing disks so you've got your disk management tool, services, devices, shared folders, and users among other administrative tasks. So this uh, disk management tool does take a quite does take a couple of seconds to load. So this is where you can check out your different um, disk partitions and so on. And yeah, you've also got your uh, your device manager. You've got uh, shared folders your event viewer, task scheduler, and so on. And the next one we're going to focus on actually is the event viewer. And uh, according to Microsoft, the event viewer is a Microsoft management console snap-in that you can use to view and manage event logs. Um, it also provides a detailed record of system security and application events on a Windows device, which can be invaluable, they say, for troubleshooting and monitoring system health. And then obviously the legacy control panel, which I actually posted on earlier today, that Microsoft uh, is going to be deprecating the legacy control panel uh, in favor of the settings app. And I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen. Now the control panel is personally one of my favorite um, kind of system configuration tools that's bundled uh, in both operating systems and it has been around in Windows basically since the beginning of Windows and is a feature that's been part of Windows, as mentioned, for a long time and provides a centralized location to view and configure system settings and controls. And through a series of these different applets you find in the control panel, you can adjust various options ranging from system time and date to hardware settings, network configurations, and a lot more. So go check that video out if you'd like a little bit more info regarding the deprecation of the control panel. And then the next one, system configuration, is an interesting one, which I actually posted a video on regarding the 
Um, if we head over to boot, the advanced options about changing the number of processes and maximum memory and so on. And I'll leave that video linked down below in the end screen because uh, that did generate quite a bit of interest. But nonetheless, um, the system configuration um, is a system utility that allows you to troubleshoot issues with Windows Startup, as an example. So there you've got your Startup, which opens the task manager once again. Um, it also includes the ability to enable or disable software. So um, if we head to services, you can um, enable and disable some of those services that run in the background. Um, control startup services, as mentioned, and access other advanced system settings. So this is quite an interesting one. And if you do have the technical know-how, this can actually be quite a useful tool. And then moving on to system information, uh, which is also found uh, in the Windows tools. And system information, if you don't know, is a system utility that provides a comprehensive view of the hardware system components and software environment on a Windows device. And this could be useful and can be useful for gathering information that can help diagnose issues with a device's configuration. And the next one is the registry editor. And you've seen me post a couple of videos on the channel tweaking and adjusting some registry um, keys and values. But in case you're unaware, the registry editor, according to Microsoft, is a powerful tool used to view and modify the system registry. The registry is a database that stores low-level settings for Windows and for applications that opt to use it. And the registry editor allows you to change settings that are not exposed in the user interface, including system policies, installed apps, and the types of files that certain applications can open. And I actually found the registry quite a useful tool, especially um, when trying to resolve issues in the Windows operating system. And the last one to mention for this video, and for this one, we're just going to do a search. I think that's the best. And this is advanced system uh, settings. And you can just do a search for advanced system settings if you don't know where this is. And basically, this in a nutshell is a system utility that, can, that you can use to access and modify settings that are not typically available in settings or control panel. And this utility is particularly useful for IT and professionals who, or advanced users who need to configure system properties, environment variables, performance settings, and user profiles for optimum system performance. So that's just a quick overview of some of the main system configuration tools that are bundled in both Windows 10 and Windows 11. And I thought this was interesting, and I thought Microsoft had listed um, these tools in quite a nice format over on their, their support page. And in case you're unaware, that's just some of those main tools which can be used uh, to manage Windows. And as I've mentioned on the channel, I'm very much in favor of using the built-in tools that come bundled in both Windows 10 and Windows 11, as opposed to downloading third-party software uh, to tweak, fix, and uh, manage Windows. So I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.